Hello and welcome to the Voices of the Vic. I'm Ben Ayton and this is the Match Day Vlog. Today I'm off the Vicarage Road for Watford versus Huddersfield Town. Just parked up and heading into town now. Um, nice sunny day, look at it. Blue sky is beautiful. But unfortunately I think that's as beautiful as today's gonna get. Don't think Watford are gonna put on a pretty performance today if they are to get the three points. Um, we've got New Warnox, Huddersfield Town. Um, heading to Vicarage Road, they're on a good run of form. They've picked up three good results in a row. So they drew 1-1 with Norwich City. Then they won 1-0 away at Millwall. And then last weekend, they won 4-2 at home to Middlesbrough. Um, you might look at the tick league table and think, oh, Watford can win that. But honestly, Neil Warnock's got a tune out of these boys. And I'm expecting a tough game today. They're fighting for their life. Each point matters. Watford, yes, they're still a slim, slim chance of the playoffs. But we we all know realistically <laughs> we ain't going to get there. Um, another difference between the two teams, yes I know there's a few places in between the lead positions and that but Huddersfield are performing as a team, you can't say that for Watford. Team news is out, Chris Wilder's made two changes to the Watford team that lost 2-0 away to Luton Town. In comes Yasser Espria and Jao Ferreira. Ferreira comes in to replace German Gakia and Ian Davis misses out through injury, but I'm really excited to see Yasser Espria um, play today. Uh, it looks like that Joel Pedro will be the man up top today. Um, so yeah, that's given me a bit more confidence today. So I'm actually going to go for a 2-0 Watford win. Come on, you guys. Thank you. 
It's finished, Watford 2, Huddersfield Town 3. Um, I'll start off congratulating the away team. Uh, fantastic from Huddersfield today. At the start of this vlog, I said the difference between Huddersfield and Watford is that Huddersfield perform as a collective and as a team. They showed heart, desire, passion, willingness to work for each other and they grinded out three points today and I thought they, they, they did well on the counter-attack. They caught Watford out a few times and they've got the three points and I hope they stay up now um, in the championship and I'm sure they will. Other teams down the bottom are struggling and Huddersfield, they're unbeaten in four games now. So congratulations on your three points. I'm sure you're going to enjoy your travel back up to Yorkshire. As for Watford, I didn't think things could get any worse, but it has. Um, performance levels has dropped even further. Players are picking up a very good salary at the football club and underperforming. The fans, half of the fans I'd say have turned. Um, there was lots of singing today saying, you're not fit to wear the shirt. I've never heard that inside Vicar Drove before, all four stands. And we had the Gino Pozzos out on my club chant as well. Um, that was mixed. Um, I've seen people saying the majority of the fan base are singing that. I thought it was. I thought it was very 50-50. If I'm honest, I, I don't think there's more people ch chanting Gino out yet than not. But look, it, it, it's 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 terrible to be associated with Watford Football Club at the moment. It's embarrassing to see performances like this and seeing the players not giving their all. But at the, all of this, it all falls at the top of Gino Pozzo. Um, he's the one that's created this culture. The culture is failing. We can't keep sacking managers three times in a season and rely on a new manager bounce. You can't underinvest in the squad, which you have done in years, and hope to get away with it. Sooner or later, it's going to catch you out. And this season, it's catching you out. Guess what? I've got tickets to Coventry away on Monday. Do I go? <sighs> Probably. See you at Coventry away. Come on, you ones.